Hello loves, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Anne Ellie and what I have for you guys is a DIY jewelry holder. Um, so I purchased all this stuff from Dollar Tree which is very easy and affordable to make and it was super fun also. Um, except of course I didn't purchase any of uh, the jewelry there but um, so yeah so if this is something that you would like to watch then continue watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and um so yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video bye all right so first i'm just using a clean cloth with some alcohol in it and i'm just cleaning my vases for preparation on applying my glue so it can last a little longer and, and of course you're gonna clip off your tags so and then placing our vases on top of our plates and here I'm just using the E6000 glue which is I think it works amazing if you want to use your hot glue gun that is fine with me but me personally it doesn't last as long and i want this to last a little longer for me and um so yeah so whichever glue you prefer i prefer the e6000 but um the e6000 in my opinion you can take your time with this it doesn't dry as fast um, as if you were to use the hot glue gun where you will have to work super fast because it is fast drying so your choice of glue and here I'm just putting the glue around the bottom of the vase and as simple as that you're just going to place it on top of your plate and applying a little pressure to it And we're going to do the same to our other plate and vase. Okay, so now that you have two that look alike, you're going to want to put the glue on top of the vase here shown. All right, and then once you already applied your glue, you're just going to want to set that third plate on top and applying pressure as well. You don't have to be too rough with it. it the glue just does its job. And then onto this one, we're just going to also apply glue on there. And this can get messy and tacky if you're not careful with it. So just be careful. Any strings like that, that's easy, easily removed. And then you're just going to place this on top as well. And just putting a little pressure there, using the vase, pushing it down. And that is it. So. This will take maybe about between 12 to 24 hours for it to actually really set and dry but that is pretty much it on this video and here I'm just going to place um, my jewelry, small jewelry holder that I had before which has my rings in it and then on the bottom of my plate here I'm going to place my watches because the watches are a little heavier and, um, and then in here in the middle I'm gonna place, um, as you can see in a minute, I'm gonna be putting my earrings. And then what I absolutely love, 
love about this DIY is you can make it your own. Here I just make came up with the idea of why not hanging my earrings on the plate and it absolutely worked perfect. And then on the top you can just place your necklaces or your bracelets um, or you can just leave it empty or whatever you can come up with for you that is your liking. And so yeah, so here I'm just you can even place the your hang your earrings on the plate like this. You can decorate it, you can add some stones, just pretty much whatever is your style, make it this your own. And this I this is what I like. It's just simple, clean, it's just easy. It, I love it. So this is my taste. <laughs> But so yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this and this is the final look on my DIY jewelry holder and I absolutely love it. Oh, it just looks so gorgeous. And then yeah, my earrings are in there. Safe. And here you can glue your jewelry holder onto your DIY jewelry holder if you like, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And so yeah, this is the final video and I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And I will see you guys on my next video. And so yeah, love you guys. Bye. Mwah.